Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing irrational numbers. So after discussing the rational numbers, our lesson today, the irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are the decimal numbers that are non-repeating and non-terminating numbers. So our famous example of irrational number is the pi. the E, or the LN, in higher mathematics. Now, how are we going to classify whether a number is an irrational number? So we have this, what we call, perfect square numbers. Perfect square numbers are one square, that is one. Two square, that is two times two, which is four. Three square, that is three times three, which is nine. Four square, that is four times four, 16. And five square, that is five times five, 25. So, these are the perfect square numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. If we're going to get the square root of that numbers, let's say we have a square root of 1, that will give us 1. A square root of 4, that will give us 2. A square root of 9, will give us 3. A square root of 4, oh, a square root of 16, that will give us how about if we have a square root of 2, a square root of 3, a square root of 5, a square root of 7? The following numbers inside our radical are not perfect square numbers. So these are the examples of our irrational numbers. This is our radical sign. So let us familiarize our radical. If we have cube root of 5, this is what we call the index. This is the radical sign. And this is our radical. So those are irrational numbers. Now, how are we going to locate irrational numbers in our number line? So let's say this is our number line. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. We know that 0 is, square root of 0 is 0. Now, we have square root of 1, that is 1. Square root of 4, square root of 4, that is 2. So that is 2. Square root of 9, that is 3. And square root of 16, that is 4. How are we going to locate the following irrational numbers? Let's say square root of 10, square root of 5, square root of 15. Okay, those A, B, and C. Let us locate using our number line. The square root of 10, which is greater, square root of 9 or square root of 10? Of course, square root of 10. That means square root of 10 is located on the right side of square root of 9. So maybe it's here. This is our 
the square root of n. Next, the square root of 5. The square root of 5 is higher than the square root of 4. That means on the right side of 2. So let's say here, this is the square root of 5. And the square root of 15. 15 is before the square root of 16. So on the left side of 4. So this is the the square root of 15. How about if you have the cube root? Let's say cube root of 5. So let us find first our perfect cube numbers. Perfect cube numbers, cube numbers, if we have If we have one cube, that is one times one times one. If we have two cube, that is two times two times two. If we have three cube, that is three times three times three. Twenty-seven. If we have four cube, that is four times four times four. Sixty-four. This numbers are what we call the perfect cube numbers. If we're going to get the cube root of 1, that will give us 1. Cube root of 8, that will give us 2. Cube root of 27, that will give us 3. And cube root of 64, that will give us 4. And so on. So if we're going to get cube root of 2, 2 is not a perfect cube, therefore, cube root of 2 is an irrational number. Cube root of 5, 5 is not a perfect cube, therefore, cube root of 5 is not, a uh, cube root of 5 is an irrational number. Now, how are, how are we going to locate in our number line? Let's say our number line. So we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. We know that cube root of 1 is 1. Cube root of 8 is 2. And cube root of 27 is 3. Let us locate cube root of 10. Cube root of 10 that is on the right side of cube root of 8. So let's see here. This is the cube root of 10. Let's say, let us find cube root of 9. 9 is on the right side of cube root of 8. So let's see here. So those are the irrational numbers and on how we locate in our number line.